Okay everyone, welcome back. Another video getting into the E36. It's been a couple of weeks, but we still have to get this car ready for paint and we've got a few things to tick off today. So let's get stuck in. First things first, we're gonna start off with the front windshield cowl. You can see here, it's extremely oxidized. It's brittle, it's cracking in places. The seal where it seals the windscreen has got brittle and basically chipped away in most of the places, so it's letting water straight in. Um, just needs just needs replacing. Next up is the roof edge molding. Um, it's not too bad this side, but the other side's pretty bad. Um, there's one little area here that um, where the paint's chipping, so we're just going to remove this and have it repainted. Next up, we're going to remove the the rear quarter glass on the right hand side. The main reason being the clear coat's failed underneath it, so it needs to be out. All the seals need to be removed, so the body shop can repaint it. But while we're here, we might as well take off the seals and see the condition they're in. You can already see they're actually in pretty rough shape, so I'd say we're we'll replacing all these, but we'll see how we go. First task of the day was to remove the window wipers. Typically, E36 window wipers can be pretty tough to remove. I sprayed both the bolts with WD-40 last night, so those penetrating oils can get in there over a few hours and really make my life easier. Seemed to the job. With a little bit of effort, both window wipers came off nicely. With the window wipers out, I could remove the cowl. It's never ending with this car. The more things I remove, the more fasteners and clips and bolts that are missing. But um, there's four screws on the top of the cowl that hold it in. I only had three, but removed those. I was hoping that I could remove the cowl without putting the hood into service mode, but um, basically the gaps are too tight and I couldn't remove it. So removing the two bolts on each side of the hood puts it into service mode. It gives it extra room to be able to slide the cowl right out. With the cowl removed, you can see what happens when your seals perish. All the dirt, leaves and grime left underneath it is pretty yuck. So super nice to be able to have that removed. Give it a good clean up and put the new one in. Okay, now inside the car, to remove this window, we need to firstly remove this bolt that holds the seat belt to the B pillar. And then you've got a little torque screw in here on the back little clip that we uh, need to remove as well. Once we remove this, we can pull off this trim piece and there's four bolts on the inside that um, basically let us to take this, take this glass out. Okay, so now that the majority of the trim's removed, you can see that it was all perished. It was it was gross. So we've ordered new seals for, for this side and the other side. Um, we're just gonna remove this piece now, because you can in here it's, I mean, it's stuffed as well. It's just starting to crumble. So we'll get new ones of those. And then the next, the last part of the job is to, is to pull this off.
Okay, now that's all removed. You can see, I guess, yeah, plenty of dirt and grime, but we can remove that. Um, great to have that all off in one piece. Now I can really start to see what was going on here. So it was definitely being, it's definitely being resprayed, and you see, you can kind of there's the paint line. Uh, the paint line's just in there, so they've obviously painted up to there. You can see a little bit of bog in there, and then obviously in here where the where the paint has failed. So can't wait to get this bit back to the body shop, get it all squared away nicely, and get them to do a good job of refinishing this. Next up, we'll take this piece of trim off here. Okay, this next bit, pretty easy, you just have to be patient. I mean, basic tools, I've just got a hammer and a, and a piece of wood, and we're just gonna slowly go around and basically knock the trim down. This trim basically comes, needs to be pushed straight down. When it's put on, it's put on, basically slips over the top, so we just need to go around bit by bit, slowly pushing this off, and then once it gets to a point, it'll basically come off, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be easy. These things are stupidly expensive, so we're gonna basically save this prime it and have it repainted if you were just basically buying a new one and replacing it well then you don't have to be too careful but we're gonna we're gonna take our time be nice and careful with this and make sure it comes up with no bends or dings in it so uh, yeah let's get to it nicely off in in one piece again tons of tons of dirt and behind here but we'll give this a good clean and this is gonna come out so mint so mint ah can't wait can't wait okay that's it for today's video We've basically all finished pulling apart the car and it's almost time to get it ready to get put back together. Um, I'm going to get the vacuum out, clean out all the rubbish and all where the seals have been. That cow's toast. So we'll have to get a new one of those. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting the itch to drive this thing again. So I need to get it back together ASAP. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great Christmas and uh, we'll probably see you next year. But uh, yeah, we'll see you then.